time to get some common sense from Craig Bolanos on Social Security. Craig, what do Americans need to know? You know, moving into retirement, it's chock full of decisions relative to how we're going to cash flow from our portfolio, how to claim our pensions if we're lucky enough to have one, and what to do with Social Security. And I think about Social Security because it's common to all. We first have to understand how it's calculated. We take the highest 35 years of earnings history that somebody has. What does that mean? If we only work for 25 years, we put 25 years plus 10 zeros into the system. If we work for 45 years, we drop the lowest 10 and inflation index, the highest 35. And then we have to think about when's the right time to take it. Some people take Social Security early. That's as early as 62. And when we do that, it might make sense for some, but it doesn't make sense for others, especially if you're going to consult you're going to work part time and you're going to have earnings from employment that exceeds the social security threshold. You'd hate to take your benefit early, have it permanently reduced and then have the government take away one dollar for every two you are above the threshold. Some people choose to take their social security on time, which depending on your year of birth is 66 and some odd number of months for those born after 1960, your full retirement age is 67. That's the first time we can claim Social Security without being subject to an earnings test and the first time we can take it without being reduced. And for some, the strategy, but not all, might be to delay. And why do people delay? Because for every year that we delay beyond our full retirement age, we're entitled to get something called a delayed retirement credit, which bolsters our benefit by 8% per year. But here's the simple math. Whether you take it at 62, whether you take it at 66, 67, depending on your FRA, whether you take it at 70, the total sum of payments that you're gonna receive is typically the same up until or around your 81st birthday. So what's the implication that we all should know? If we die before, say, our 81st birthday, taking it early probably made sense. But for every month we live past the age of 81, waiting until full retirement age made sense and delaying was certainly better than FRA or taking it early. If you want a free Social Security claiming strategy, go out to our website, investwithwmg.com. I'm Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. We exist to help you get retired and stay retired. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.